If you're a radiologist using ChatGPT and you want to convert your preliminary findings into a full structured final report, this video is for you. I've been experimenting with ChatGPT and I've created this new special purpose GPT called RadGPT. You can access it for free through your ChatGPT Plus account and I'll put a link to RadGPT in the comments below. RadGPT will take a preliminary report currently in neuro or ultrasound and convert it into a final structured report. Let's give it a try. Here's the initial RadGPT view. It's waiting for me to enter a preliminary report by typing in prelim and then colon and then the text of the prelim report. So let's do a neuro example. Right now, RadGPT is working for neuro and ultrasound, but specifically neuro CT and ultrasound studies. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in a prelim for a CTA head and neck, but I don't need to actually tell it it's a CTA head and neck. So I'll type in the word prelim and then colon, and then I'm going to enter just the pos pertinent positive findings and any pertinent negative findings that I want, but I don't have to be thorough. It'll fill in all the details that I didn't include. So instead of typing this out, I'm gonna select one of these pre-scripted uh, prompts right here, which you can also try out yourself. You can see that it's providing findings related to the CTA head and neck, but I haven't told it that this study relates to a CTA head and neck. RadGPT is automatically matching that to a template for a CTA head and neck angiogram, including technique sections. It leaves the things that it doesn't know blank, like a history, and uh, you can see the positive findings are being inserted at just the right place. So here, intracranial angiogram, it provides in the anterior circulation, the finding of severe stenosis of the left M1. It also provides the pertinent negative that there was no vessel cut off. And then it even modifies the template that previously said the anterior circulation is normal, and instead it says the rest of the anterior circulation is normal, which is phenomenal. And then we move down to the neck findings, and you can see it's inserted 50% stenosis in the proximal left proximal ICA in the correct location in the extracranial angiogram, and then under impression, those major findings are included. Three important caveats as you get started. Number one, this is not an FDA approved device of any sort. Number two, it's not a HIPAA compliant solution. So don't post any PHI, whether it's patient names, date of birth, date of encounter, any of that sort of thing, either in the screenshots that you give GPT or in the text messages that you issue to it. And number three, proofread your work. This is just a draft. It's potentially riddled with errors. So treat it like it would be a draft before you do a final signing. Tell me what you think about the demo. Tell me what you think about your experience converting from preliminary reports to final reports. And if there are certain study types that you want us to add and support, include that in the comment section below. If you want to see alerts about future demos that we post here, you should like and subscribe to this channel and have a great rest of your day.